Welcome to the show, David. Welcome. No, I'm already here. <laughs> I say welcome, you say thank you. That's how it works. It's a form of conversation. <laughs> Let's start again. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> welcome to the show, David. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> the spring wildflower garlic mustard has what alternative name? A. Jack by the hedge. B. Tom by the tree. C. Dick by the bush. <laughs> <laughs> It's always me, it's always me. <laughs> Good Lord. Well, if you... Hurry up, the news is on in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Need an answer? You've put... Jack by the hedge. Don't know. Genuinely don't know, but I just seem... It's, I think it's the most likely... Yeah, because it's a wild flower. It's got to well, be... Yeah, it's got to be... A grown in hedge. hedgerows. Yeah. It wouldn't be digged by the bush, surely, would it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but you wouldn't want any of that covered in garlic or mustard. That's <laughs> Um... Oh my! <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Correct answer is. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Still close to the line, well played, it's all good. All right, Chaser has put. Yeah, all right, goes Jack by the head, no problem. <laughs> Remains the two behind with one from home. Next question. Hey! <sighs> the one handed clean and jerk. <laughs> the one-handed clean and jerk was an Olympic event in what sport? A. Gymnastics, B. Shooting, C. Weightlifting. Oh, yeah, good shit. Got it. You put weightlifting, but well, not shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you don't get this on Countdown, love, do you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, over there in Dictionary Corner. All right, uh, correct answer is... It is way looking more place, that place, I'm Chase is correct. Should have gone big money, should have gone big money. No, yeah, no Chase goes weightlifting as well, no problem at all. Here's your next question. Here's your next question. <laughs> <laughs> The name for the crest of a cockerel is a is a cock's what? <laughs> a hairbrush, B comb, C curlers. Oh. You've put hair. When you said you wanted to come on, you said you could do it. <laughs> <laughs> You've put <a> hairbrush. <laughs> Correct answer is. It's a clown. Staying where we are. The chaser has put. Goes right with coke. Closes us down to Ooh, one. We're right. four from home. People are always using it as an insult in Shakespeare. Thou coxcomb, sir. Yes. That must have been insulted, is it? Good job they were. Good job they weren't playing football in days. You running up saying, going, "You are nothing but a coxcomb, sir." <laughs> yeah, you watch it. I'll get the airbrush out. And bash it out. <laughs> oh, and very kind as well. And I give try that sort to be, of and I hope I'm not going to catch you on the final step. Yes, indeed. For four thousand pounds, the chase is on. I wish you luck. Here comes the first question. Which card game shares its name with a famous French manufacturer of fine crystal glassware? A. Baccarat. B. Canasta. C. PK. PK. Oh, I don't have to say it. I've that up, haven't I? That's that's all right, Pearl. You press away. You press away. Put him under the pressure. You put him under the pressure. That's all right. You don't don't worry about. It. Don't worry. I'll give you I'll give you a little tip, Pearl. 
Oh, I'll he's give, looking at you. I'll give you a little tip. Keep it to yourself. Yeah. OK. Um, no point in me saying this, but you've put... <laughs> PK. If this is right, we're up and running. All right? The correct answer is... It's back right. All right. Hopefully he doesn't know and he's taken your lead. <laughs> that would be great if he has. The chaser has put... <laughs> That's great. Oh! <laughs> That's exactly what I did. I didn't have a clue. Do I look like a person which would have fine crystal glassware I, in my I house? I did have a clue because before the, the answers came up, yeah. PK was the, the one that was in my mind, which is why I went. I can't believe it. I've never had a contestant. I've never ever had a contestant selling chaser a dummy. I've never... I've been psyched up by an 82-year-old. Oh, goodness me. Right, here's your next question. Oh, I love it. What change was introduced by the ITF in 2002 to increase the number of rallies in tennis games? A, smaller rackets. B, slower courts. C, bigger balls. You've put... Bigger balls. I think they'd have more effect. Well, it'd definitely slow a player down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they're bad. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's my juvenile sense of humour. <laughs> right. Correct answer is. No chance. No chance. I honestly thought it was slow accord. The chaser has put. Oh, I can't believe it. Well, I knew they'd slowed the service game down because the top speed was Andy Roddick hit 155 mile an hour. Really? And that's the problem. It's almost unreturnable at that speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. the larger the ball, therefore the softer it is, more air it is, and the slower the ball. Yeah. The rambutan fruit is also known by what other name? A, dirty lychee, B, hairy lychee, C, smelly lychee. <laughs> You've put... <laughs> You've put... Hairy lychee. Why did you put hairy lychee? I'm thinking kiwi fruit, Brad. Yeah, yeah, of course, kiwi fruit. Yeah. Kiwi fruits have got hairs round them. Correct answer is. Oh, it is hairy lychee. Very, very good. We are one from home. Chaser has put. Also goes with hairy lychee. And remains the three behind us. What is a hairy light? I haven't a clue. No, just a lucky. Welcome. Thank you, hello. Now, if you want some money today, Sue, what would you do with it? Well, I need some teeth. Oh, right, so you would spend your money on teeth? Really good dentures. OK. Yes. That's an odd request, I... <laughs> They're met... very expensive. They are. Very expensive, yes. OK, quick fire questions against the clock, Sue. Oh, not All too right. bad, though. Three thousand pounds, Sue. That would buy teeth. Would it buy teeth? Yes. How many? How many do you need? About 22. 22 teeth? Mm -hmm. I went out with a Spanish girl once who actually only had one tooth there. Her name was Juanita. <laughs> so it's time to face the chaser. Good afternoon, Sue. Good afternoon. So you're looking for new teeth, are you? Well, you should try Dawn and Wendy because they've got uh, lovely smiles enough to go around. <laughs> Let's put some money on the table, eh? We have £3,000. If you wish to take a step closer to home, the chaser will offer you. Well, you need to go to the dentist. 2 30. <laughs> <laughs> I must <have> laugh. <laughs> It's not funny. <laughs> this is a very serious business. No. <laughs> it's not funny at all. 
If you wish to take a step closer to the chaser, he will offer you... A thousand pound per tooth. Twenty-two thousand pounds. Oh, the twenty-two teeth. That's a... Oh. That's a grand tooth. I have a chat team. Thank you. What do you think, girls? I think we've lost Ben. We don't want to lose you. We need you over here. I agree with Dawn. We need you back here. Come back here and we can spank him. Thank, Thank you. you, girls. Right, so, what will it be? It's your decision. 2.30 might be funny, but it's very mean. Yeah? Yeah. So, I'll stick to three, please. £3,000 it is. Chaser. Well, I'm looking forward to this chase. Yeah, me too. Sue, so for £3,000, the chase is on. Good luck. Here's your next question. Which of these EastEnders characters shares her name with one of the moons of Uranus? A. Bianca. B. Tiffany. C. Sharon. You've put Sharon. Yeah, Sharon. Sharon. Sharon, yeah. I yeah. think it's a moon, but I'm not sure whether it's a moon of Uranus. Correct answer is. It's Bianca. Bianca's the correct answer. We've got to stay where we are. The chaser has put... Goes right with Bianca. Um, yeah, that was unlucky. Was Sharon spelled with a C is one of the uh, moons of the now demoted planet Pluto. Mm. Oh. Tiffany was an American singer who had a UK number one with I Think We're Alone Now. <laughs> and the moons of Uranus were named after Shakespearean characters and characters from The Rape of the Lock by Alexander Pope. That's wonderful. Thank you. Just got to compose myself for a second. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you went, you, <laughs> what? You said. What did I say? Well, I'm not sure if it's a moon of Uranus. Oh, <laughs> I see you. Oh, grow up, Bradley. <laughs> I can't go. I can't grow up. I love it. It's just, I was hanging on for dear life there. Right, pull yourself together, Bradley. Right, here we go. According to the saying, what must you not let under the tent? A. The camel's hump. B. The camel's nose. C. The camel's toe. <laughs> you've put, you've put. The camel's nose. Thankfully. I'm not familiar with the expression, but it just seems to me the most logical. <laughs> the correct answer is. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, the camel's nose is absolutely right. Well played. Well, one from home. The chaser has put. Don't. Bob oh, goes right. With it. I've never heard of that expression. Yeah, the idea is, uh, if you let the camel's nose under the tent, then uh, sooner or later you'll have the whole camel in the tent. Yeah, of course, And yes. then everybody else will have to be outside. Absolutely. He On seeing his wife-to-be, Caroline of Brunswick, for the first time, the future King George IV asked for what? A. Sp smelling salts. <laughs> B. A loaded pistol. <laughs> C. A glass of brandy. You've put... Smelling salts. I don't know, was she a looker? Obviously not. <laughs> All right, to go through with £7,000, the correct answer is... <laughs> glass of brandy. All right, not so drastic. The chaser has put... <laughs> goes right with the glass of brandy, starts to close the gap. Chaser. Yes, he took one look at her and he said to his friend, Harris, I am not well, get me a glass of brandy. Oh. <laughs> In the 1940s, which player scandalised the tennis world with her lacy knickers? A. Doris Hart. B. Nellie Landry. Or C. Gussie Moran. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, Lord. 
<coughs> Good old Gussie. <laughs> OK. You've put... <laughs> Is, was that such a tennis player? Yeah, she was known as Gorgeous Gussie. No. <laughs> really, honestly. I wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right, you've put Gussie Moran to go through with six grand. Did Gussie wear lazy knickers? <laughs> Come on. Yes, well done. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> That was a joke that night. <laughs> Actually, well played. Fantastic stuff. Chaser. Yes, yes, yeah. very good. Couldn't have caught you. Yeah, Thank no. you very yeah, much no. indeed. Very, very good. Thank, Thank you, you very much. First up, first Thank through. You. Well done, mate. On seeing his wife-to-be, Caroline of Brunswick, for the first time, the future King George IV asked for what? A. Sp smelling salt. B. A loaded pistol. <laughs> <laughs> See a glass of brandy. You've put smelling salts. I don't know, was she a looker? Obviously not. <laughs> All right, to go through with £7,000, the correct answer is. Glass of brandy. All right, not so drastic. The chaser has put. Goes right with the glass of brandy, starts to close the gap. Chase. Yes, he took one look at her and he said to his friend, Harris, I am not well. Get me a glass of brandy. Oh.